welcome back to another video today I have highly requested a video from you guys and it is as you can see from the title how I started my fitness journey and I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about this because I know you guys have been having a lot of questions on what I'm doing right now and you know a lot of questions about the keto diet and everything like that so I wanted to um, just give you guys an overview of how I even started this but before we do get into this video I do want to ask you guys to please subscribe to my channel give me a like and check out my online boutique basically I'm gonna be looking down on my notebook this is basically my notebook where I write down all of my video ideas and everything that I'm gonna be talking about so that's what I'm gonna be looking down at in case you guys are wondering so how I started my fitness journey was when I started noticing that I was gaining a lot of weight before I had him I was at a certain weight I don't remember I think I would not pass 120 like I was just under 120 all the time and you know once I had him obviously your your body changes you don't have you're not like a little girl anymore you know so your body goes through a lot of changes and I just Till this day, I haven't been able to get lower than 120, but I'm okay with it. Um, but right after I had him, it was kind of very hard for me to even lose the weight. And I, I was just, I, me quedé con poquita, like I stood a little bit chunky, like me quedé poquita chunky. And it wasn't necessarily because of the pregnancy. I think, I don't know, a lot of things had to do with it because I didn't really eat that bad and I didn't gain a lot of weight I gained I gained 25 pounds throughout my whole pregnancy which was really healthy I mean the doctor would always tell me like hey you're doing really well they never told me I was overweight or to like watch what I'm eating you know like I know a lot of girls they get told that no my doctor was like you're going very well like I was gaining weight at a perfect rate and everything was good so I don't I don't know if it had to do with my pregnancy or maybe it did you know make it with the extra pounds but that was kind of like my motivation I wanted to be where I was at before my pregnancy so when I started my fitness journey I was I basically started by just exercising I would not not even watch what I was eating I was not really like that was it wasn't my main priority like my body and my house was not my main priority I was still drinking beer every weekend I was eating pizza I was eating whatever I wanted I was, but I was exercising so that was my little excuse to be able to do that once I started realizing like oh shit okay that's not working like it would kind of mean I was maintaining myself but I wasn't really not even maintaining myself I started noticing that I was gaining weight and obviously if you don't watch what you eat and if you do anyway if you exercise anyways you will gain weight I mean you can only do so much exercise if you stuff your face every single day then you're gonna gain weight right not as much weight because you're burning some off some calories but you're still gonna gain weight so you know that's when I started being like okay I have to start watching what I eat at least five days a week when I was going to work and then maybe in the weekend I can cheat you know so that's how I started I was working out um, five days a week and then I I was doing P90X um, a lot of you guys saw me when I was because um, I had my YouTube channel so a lot of you guys saw my 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 um progress throughout you know p90x and then how i started getting into weight training and all of that so i was watching what i ate five days a week and then working out i mean just stuffing my face two days a week so for a while you know obviously you're gonna lose weight if you're so used to stuffing your face every single day and then all of a sudden you cut it off to only two days you know you're gonna notice a difference and I did notice a difference. I noticed that I was I lost a couple pounds, maybe just a little bit, you know, not too much. And you know, I was like, okay, well, whatever. I kept on doing that for like months, for like four or five months, and just started to want to have a more of a toned body. I didn't want to just maintain my body because obviously I did my body wasn't toned at that point. I was doing only cardio, so there's no way that your body can be toned with cardio you know so I was um, I wasn't seeing I guess the results that I wanted and that's when I started to get into going to the gym so once I started going to the gym you know my main focus was to obviously I feel like every girl's focus is their butt to grow your butt and um, with that you know I had to 
take it more serious like once I went to the started going to the gym I kind of took took my fitness more serious because I saw people at the gym and I saw the results that I wanted and you know once I started watching videos on YouTube about people that had that body or a similar body um, and noticed that they weren't cheating two times a week they weren't stuffing their face with beer on the weekends and you know they weren't doing the things that I was doing so I was like, okay, maybe let me try something else. So that's when I got into counting my macros. I got into counting my macros through Christian and, um, yeah, Christian Guzman. I don't know if you guys follow him, but he's a really good, I, I follow him and he just inspires me from business side of his videos and his fitness. Like, even though he's a guy, whenever I need inspiration, I go to watch his videos. So you know he's he said something about macros I started reading up on it um when I'm something when I'm really interested in something I google everything I research my stuff and he basically recommended for me to download my fitness pal app and that's how I started tracking my macros which is a very easy way to start tracking your macros and it's flexible dieting you guys I feel that tracking your macros if you really feel like you're like one of those people that oh my god i hate diets i don't want to be able i don't want to restrict myself you know i feel like counting your macros will still give you the chance to fit pancakes or if you want to fit a cake or candy into your diet if you want to go ahead and do that and you feel like other diets are too hard because they don't let you do that then i feel like counting your macros even if you have one little piece of candy it'll fit into your macros um even if you have one a day you know and yeah so I was fine with my macros up until I oh wait I didn't tell you guys that that okay let me go let me mm, go back okay so when I was when I wasn't counting my macros yet I was eating only salads when I was doing P90X when I started when I decided to watch what I ate five days a week that's when I was eating only salads and I remember just not seeing results and I wanted to like build my butt. That's how I started wanting to get into the gym. So, you know, once I started seeing like, okay, people are actually eating, you guys. I used to be scared of eating. I used to eat salads every single day, turkey salads, because they had the least amount of calories. And I would only eat turkey salads. And it turns out that when I started looking into counting my macros, it turns out that I wasn't even eating enough macros. I was eating about 500 um, calories a day. And I'm, my my macros were at 2,000 for me to lose weight. And I was like, how can that be? How can I not be seeing results? And if I eat more, I'll, you know, I'll lose weight. And me eating less is not helping me lose weight. So that's when I was like, okay, what the fuck? So then I, I was really scared. And I'm telling you guys, I was so scared to track my macros. Because to know that you had to eat eat that amount of that much made me scared because that's I, I, that how it was always in the back of my head like what if i gain weight what if i gain weight what if this doesn't work you know and yes it ended up working and yeah i'm telling you guys i felt more energized i never felt hungry guys because with the salads that i ate every single day i would always feel hungry and i would just be like no i'm not gonna eat because i'm gonna get fat and once i started kind of my macros you guys sometimes i would be so full that I didn't even want to eat no more like it was that much you know so you know I was counting my macros for quite a while um it came to a point where I was kind of like I knew what my macros were so I knew okay I could only eat an ounce of this or I could only eat this much you know so I would like know what to eat already i didn't have to like keep track of it on the app i recommend that you guys start little by little that's something that i did as you can see i went from only exercising to exercising and limiting you know what i ate and then after that me exercising and then counting my macros me exercising going to the gym weight training and eating the right way so okay i do want to talk to you guys about how I stood how I was staying motivated throughout these past three years because it was about yeah three years ago when I started this whole journey three or four probably like three years 
So my my tips for motivation are to definitely watch um, YouTube videos. Just how you're watching me, watch mine first. But um, look for people that inspire you, that have similar interests that you have. I mean, like I'm telling you guys, Buff Bunny and Christian Guzman, they inspire me and I love watching them because I can relate to the business side of their videos and the stress that they go through sometimes and how that's how I want to be I want to have a company like as big as them yeah so definitely I would say watch videos um videos have helped me blogs I'm not really the type of person that keeps up with blogs or bloggers but if you guys are interested in or like yeah if you guys are interested in keeping up with a blogger then do that I mean whatever you think will help you just do it because it's it's your health I mean it's nobody else's you're the one that is gonna feel good about yourself you know but what I would do is I would spoil myself so whenever I would go to the gym well sometimes I still buy some workout clothes but the thing is that now I have the gym in my house so I would I wouldn't really mind um so what I would do is buy like a new sport sports bra or I would look into gym clothes instead of me buying work clothes since I could wear whatever I wanted to work I would literally just wear sports like gym attire and and that would make me excited because I would feel like okay all day at work I was already in my gym attire like I was already ready to go to the gym after work so whenever I wouldn't go I would feel like damn that's a waste of outfit honestly that's how I would feel and I would like feel sad you know so that's something that also helped me out I mean you don't necessarily have to go out and buy all these expensive stuff but that's something that just just so you know that does help my recommendation on how to stay fit so okay I didn't tell you guys what happened after um, me tracking my macros so after I started tracking my macros I started noticing that I was kind of getting off track already like I was kind of like cheating a lot you know I was drinking kawamas I was eating a lot more than I should have and yes I was working out I was weight training but it was just I was not seeing like my body was just staying where it was and I wanted more results you know so that's when we came across the keto diet and at first well actually the one that that introduced me to the keto diet was Sergio and by the way if you guys are new to my channel he's my fiance and he introduced me to that because um he started like he did it about a year ago I think he did it a year ago and I didn't want to do it because he wasn't really that educated on the on the keto subject or whatever and he would just eat like sardines and egg and weird as shit que me daba asco a me. So to me the keto diet was like, hell no, I'm never going to do that shit. If it requires me to eat sardines and egg mixed, like I'm not going to do that shit. That's nasty. So I didn't even think about doing it. Like it was just never in my plans. But I did notice how much weight he lost. So, you know, he was telling me about it and he's like, what do you think? Should we do it? Like, are you down? And I was like... I don't know like I was kind of like fuck well maybe like let me just look into it a little bit when I was starting to notice that I wasn't not I wasn't seeing any more results I was like okay maybe it's time for change so I looked into the keto diet and I saw that it was a very successful diet and I saw how the foods that you could eat are like who doesn't want to eat bacon you know who doesn't want to include bacon in their diet so that got me really excited. I was like, hell yeah, I wanna, you know, I wanna be able to eat bacon. Um, I was, I was a big carb, per, carb person. Like I was the type of person that needed carbs to get me going. Like I needed um, a bread with oatmeal in the morning, and I needed my rice, my white rice. Um, that's basically all we would eat: white rice with chicken or something else. But you know it was very very hard in the beginning and it was hard to to you know crave carbs and see people eating carbs with tortilla and not being able to have it but once you see the results guys that was the thing that I just okay 
hell yeah, I'm going to keep doing this diet, you know? So that's that's where I am right now. Um, I'm actually very happy with the keto diet. It's been like a month that we've been on it, a month or two. And I don't plan, like at first I was missing the carbs and I was a little sad. And I was like, hell no, I can't wait to get off of the keto. Like I just wanted to lose a little bit of pounds, which by the way I did. I lost, I weighed 128, I, weighed, I lost 6 pounds, but I wasn't really looking to lose pounds. Like I was looking to lose um, sizes, like um, yeah, sizes. So yes, I did lose um some pounds and I did notice changes in my body I fit into you know the things that I didn't fit into before my boobs actually um, my bra I had to buy another bra because I did lose weight on my boobs too so definitely I have been loving this diet this is where I am today it's basically an all-fat diet low carb I am at my net carbs right now are 16 grams per day and I basically use up my carbs with vegetables I don't eat any of like bread or anything like that because that's you know I don't I don't want to so yeah I use it up with my with my vegetables and yeah I eat very very comfortable like I don't miss carbs of course sometimes I do crave them like if they're right in front of me but you guys just to see the results and to see that it's it's so worth it like I wish everybody could just get on the diet and see what I'm talking about you get me because you feel so much more energetic you guys my skin I am very acne prone right now I do have a pimple because I had my period I barely finished yesterday but my skin I have never seen it I know it's not the clearest skin but I have never seen it this clear you guys I am acne prone and I was um, using a medicine for about a year like on my acne I tried to rebuy it and it was like $200 so I was like it's fine I don't want to use it no more and another reason why I didn't want to use that acne medication anymore was because it had told me a doctor had told me that it was very very um, strong for me so she's like, if you ever do plan on getting pregnant, just make sure you, you know, start getting off of it before you do because it's very bad for the baby. So, I mean, obviously we're not trying right now, but we do plan in the future. And I just got really scared that I would never want the chance of something happening to my baby for my acne to ever be there, you know. So I got off of it and then that's when I started my keto diet and my skin has been clearing up tremendously and I'm so happy about it. Like... But who would have ever thought that my diet, eating high fat, was going to clear my diet? So, I mean, my, my face. So, my advice to you guys is to take it day by day. Don't torture yourself. Don't think like, oh my God, like this is how I'm going to be for... Like, don't think negative. What I do if I really crave a little candy or something, I'll eat a little piece, half of something, and my craving will be gone. But there is a lot of things that you can... Um, like, for, for example... I know I'm drinking coffee with some whip, whipped, whipped cream, some, um, what is it called? <gasps> some vanilla extract and then some cinnamon and it tastes just like a freaking drink from, um, Starbucks. And I'm just so happy that I discovered this diet. And if you guys are more interested in me talking about the keto diet and what it is exactly, I mean, it's because I feel that because I Google everything, I feel like I'll literally be just reading off of Google because it's just, it's there, you guys. You just have to literally go to google.com, search up keto diet, what it is, and it basically is high fat, low carb, almost no carbs, but low carb diet. And... It's what's well, high fat protein and then low carb. So yeah, and I I totally recommend for anyone that is looking for a real change in their body. Trust me, with the keto you'll achieve that. And I don't know, I just I want everybody to try it because I'm just so happy with it. And if you guys are interested in more information, you guys can watch the Magic Pill on Netflix. I barely watched it like two days ago, and I'm like super hyped up because i decided to do this diet because that um documentary is like 
wow it's life changing you guys have to watch it and yeah i would say enjoy your diets i mean don't just think of them like oh i'm gonna do them for a month or two try to stick with it like now i want to do it as a lifestyle now i want my son to do it because i saw that documentary y me asusté. I'm, i don't want my son suffering from heart disease i want him to be clear-minded and just to be able to think clearly and there's so many benefits to this diet that i seriously am thinking of getting him on it and it's not a diet like it's it's a diet like the word sounds like you want to lose weight but i just want him to be healthy you know so yeah you guys i mean i don't know i guess it was like kind of like a story time um video about how i started my journey or like tips on how because i don't want to tell you guys this is the way to do it you know because i'm no teacher i'm not a health a nutritionist or something you know i don't know but i'm sharing with you guys the tips that helped me and what i did so i hope this was helpful and i hope you guys um give it a try look into it do your research and if you guys want me to do it for you in a video i can also you know tell you guys what i eat um as an example i do have a lot of other videos that sh uh, you know that show like a full day of eating things like that i am still learning along the way as well so i'm not like the biggest expert i look online sometimes like can i eat this you know um basically no sugar no carbs just fat protein and that's it so I hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a like subscribe to my channel and don't forget to check out my boutique i'm having a sale right now so take advantage of it 30 percent off with code pineapple and yeah the coffee that i'm drinking is by el contento coffee so check it out i'll link everything down below and yeah i'll talk to you guys next time bye